Hey guys, how's it going and welcome to another video. So another different backdrop this time. We are in Mexico. It's been the most hectic like 24 to 36 hours and I hope you guys have like a snack or like a cup of tea or something at hand because it's, it's story time. So let's go back to the airport yesterday. Uh, I landed in Cancun. I flew straight from London to Cancun. My mom th flew in from Paris and we were going to meet at Cancun airport and then just kind of set off together, right? So we're like getting off the plane in Cancun. So you know when you're like in the plane still kind of waiting in the aisle to like uh, leave? And then one of the, 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 the guy on the, I think it was the pilot, he said, everyone have your passports ready at the exit of the plane. And I was like, this is strange. Like normally you walk to passport control. You don't have your passport in your hand when you leave the plane. So we get off the plane and there's all these like Mexican immigration officers just there saying like show us your passport show us your open your passport open your passport and like okay so everyone's showing them their passport half of the people they just say like okay you can go through and the other half of us they'd stop us and take our passports put them in their pockets and make us wait on the side without telling us why like mate <clears throat> if you just told me like why you were doing this if you were saying we need to check half of you separately i'd be cool but he didn't even give me a reason why and i was just like what on earth is happening like i want my passport that is my identity like i need this passport the fact that i wasn't alone just kind of made me feel a bit more at ease i'm like okay surely i'll be fine because they're, they're doing this like half the plane and it wasn't like a certain nationality thing because a lot of europeans were there this chinese guy this guy from like israel so it was a big kind of melting pot of nationalities all stood to the side and he was just taking a bunch of our passports and everyone was so confused no one knew what was happening I felt okay, but I was just thinking about like my mom because I was like, oh, my mom's on a different plane. We can't reach each other on our phones. There was no Wi-Fi. They did the same thing to her flight and she also got her passport taken. We were all taken to like the separate queue. We had to queue for super long. We were just like, Ugh. and then they had to like call our names out to give us her passports back, which was so weird. And then we finally get to immigration and the officer, she's asking us all these questions about what my mom does for a living, what I'm doing in the UK, uh, just like our address, so many weird questions and we were just stood there for like 30 minutes and then finally we made it through. So that was the airport and then we had like a three hour journey to our accommodation. We, we had to spend one night in this um, little like bed and breakfast place. It's, we're in this town called Chiquila. It's like a two and a half hour drive from Cancun and we're gonna go to our final destination today but i booked this place online like it's not bad like it's not bad it has everything we need it's clean you know what i mean like it's not dirty it's clean it's nice the, the lady here who's hosting us she's super lovely but we were like to sleep last night and at like 3 a.m my mom feels something like on her head and she turns the light on it was a cockroach <laughs> So my mom had a cockroach on her head and I dislike insects a lot. Uh, I'm terrified of them. So I did not sleep very much. I was actually awake for 22 hours yesterday before going to bed because of the time difference. Like I did not sleep for a second on the plane. So, and then I got like five, four or five hours sleep last night because of this whole cockroach situation. Um, so I'm running on coffee right now. Bless, my mom brought instant coffee with her from Egypt and there's no kettle here, but we do have a microwave and a fridge and a sink. So we had to microwave some water um, and make some coffee. And then breakfast wise, literally just before I started filming this, the lady who's hosting us, she just came in and like brought us like some fruit and some coffee and some sugar. It's like, oh, we'll bring you the rest of breakfast in a bit. And I was like, oh, thanks, this is nice. I'm not very hungry right now, so I'm gonna put my fruit into like Tupperware and have it later maybe. I don't know, I don't really want fruit to be honest. I'm just not hungry. Um, yeah, so it's been a bit of a whirlwind. I also had to have a cold shower this morning, which was interesting. So if anyone watching this takes cold showers normally, I don't know how you do it, it's horrible. Um, yeah, that's the update you guys. And I will catch you guys in the next clip. All right, guys, we have just arrived in Isla Holbosch. We are staying in a resort called Mystique, and it's actually really nice. Like, our room is so beautiful. So this is kind of when you come in. There's two sinks. Don't know what this is. I think it's the closet. Yeah. Closet right here. Here we have the... Wow, very nice shower. Very beautiful shower. And then 
the toilet. And then here is a mirror. Hi, hello. And then we have our beautiful bedroom. Very nice, very nice uh, color scheme. I love the blues, the whites. Big king size bed, nice sofa, beautiful coffee table. And then there is a coffee machine, which is sick. We're gonna need a lot more water than just this though, cause I need to stay hydrated. Um, and here, a nice, a very large TV that we're probably not gonna use. A nice desk that I'm gonna use for check-ins and to just do work as well. And then this is the balcony, which looks really, really nice. So, right here, this is kind of our view. Lots of greenery, a nice table and some chairs. And then a nice, comfy, I've always wanted one of these. It is actually very, very nice. Very, very nice. So that's that balcony. And then there is these stairs because we are in a loft. So you go up the stairs right here, and then you open this door. It takes you to a very nice terrace with a couple of lounge chairs. So yeah, that is our room. Hi friends, so I'm now sat in our very beautiful balcony. Um, we were just sat at the beach for a bit, which would be nice, got a bit of a tan, which is always great. Um, and it just really chilled out. I think because we're staying here for quite some time, I'm like not really in a rush to like get things done. Um, we just watched like one of the World Cup matches as well. And oh, because you guys are nosy and like to see what I'm eating, I brought a lot of like um, corn vegan fillets with me from the UK. Uh, they came out with this new range very recently where it's like you don't have to cook them, which is super handy. Uh, so I literally brought 14 packs of those with me and I'm keeping them in the mini fridge here along with a bunch of like protein bars and stuff. And speaking of protein bars, I found this one in Holland and Barrett in London. So PE, the plant bar, it doesn't even, it's not even advertised as vegan, it says the plant bar vegetarian friendly but I reread the ingredients over like a ton like I literally read the ingredients like four or five times just to make sure and it is vegan so and the macros are really good it's a 200 calorie protein bar um, pretty low fat compared to other protein bars and it's 20, 20 grams of protein so I want to do a taste test because you guys know the likes of Misfits PhD those are kind of like my usual go-to's for protein bars. I never really eat protein bars unless I'm traveling because it's very convenient, but let's do a bit of a taste test. It smells very nice and chocolatey. This is what it looks like. Nice and textured. Let's give it a taste. Wow. Wow. Oh my god. This is officially my new favorite protein bar. I'm not even kidding. Chalk and sea salt flavor. It tastes like a chocolate bar. Wow. If any of you guys are in the UK, Holland and Barrett, get some of these. I'm gonna actually, when I go back, I'm just gonna go Holland and Barrett and like buy like a bunch and bring it back to Dubai. So, I'm gonna enjoy this. Then we're gonna go on a walk, try and find a supermarket, a gym and explore. So yeah, I will catch you guys in the next clip. All right guys, quick little grocery haul here. We uh, we bought a lot of stuff. <laughs> we got some water because you can't really drink tap water here. I got my essentials, almond milk and some soy milk as well. Right here, I found these like vegan chocolate chip cookies, which is sick. Got some tortilla chips, some apple cider vinegar for my morning digestion routine. This was my favorite cereal as a kid, Trix. And then a very close second is chocolate Nesquik. Um, we also got some Raz Cakes, Galletas de Arroz, some Monster, some Olives, some Chimichurri Sauce, some Apples, some Bananas. So we are pretty much sorted. We're gonna go and watch the sunset because it looks absolutely beautiful. All right guys, so it is now day two 
of us being in Mexico. Yesterday was just really nice. Um, we just spent the day kind of exploring and stuff, the downtown area of where we're at. So this morning we are just walking to the gym. It's currently just past 7.30 a.m. I've just had two coffees <laughs> this morning as my pre-workout and that's it, so I'm training fasted. I'm gonna do a full body workout today. Depending on how busy this gym is and depending on where I can put my camera, I will try and film it for you guys. But yeah, and it's just, I haven't been on a holiday in so long where like I'm staying at the place for like a good week where I don't feel, you know, like I have to do everything all in one day. So I don't feel rushed. I feel like we've got time to do everything you want to do. I have time to do like work for my clients as well. Like I got some check-ins done this morning as well. So yeah, very chill that one and I'll catch you guys at the gym. Right guys, update. It is now Thursday. I think it's Thursday. I lose track of time whenever I'm on holiday. It's not Thursday. It is 7.42 a.m. So still really early. The sun is just rising. We came out super early today because it's a lot more quiet in the morning at the beach and you want to do a bit of like a bikini photo shoot. I've got like 10 bikinis in my bag that I'm going to be changing into. I got this new green one, which I'm in love with, from this like handmade um, Mexican brand called Asi Voy. Really, really pretty bikinis. I got this one in a blue one as well. So I've got my personal photographer, i.e. my mom, um, taking photos of me this morning. So we're gonna do that for the next couple of hours and then get some food because I've got a list of places I wanna get food from um, here and I'm really excited. I'm gonna show you guys what we're gonna get. guys so a bit of an update we were at the beach for like a good hour taking photos the lighting was not very cooperative but 
we got a couple of good pictures, which I'm very happy about. Mom's a fantastic photographer. I'm a very difficult first person to take pictures of. So that was this morning. And then I went back up to our room to do some check-ins. I just finished up all my client check-ins and then um, there's so much noise. And then we just came to this place called Clandestino. I'm stood right in front of it. Um, I've been eyeing this place up these past couple of days because we walked past it a few times. We got really, really good coffee and really yummy smoothie bowls. We got the cacao smoothie bowl and then the mango berry smoothie bowls. Really, really nice. Really, really nice. Would highly recommend if you are in Holbosch here in Mexico. These next couple days, we're gonna go to a bunch of different cafes, bunch of different restaurants, and I will be giving you guys full reviews of everywhere that we go. So yeah, right now we're gonna chill out, go for a bit of a walk, and then chill at the beach. So I'll catch you guys later. I just got a coconut on the beach. It was a bit overpriced, but I think they know that like we're tourists, so they're kind of overcharged us. Guys, the straw is actually like a thing of spaghetti or pasta with like a hole in it which I find very interesting it's also very windy and not very sunny I think there's a storm coming in which is not ideal but look at how beautiful it is behind me so nice and so peaceful honestly the vibes here are like unmatched it kind of reminds me of like Bali slash Thailand vibes that's kind of what I'm getting so I'm gonna drink this Hope it doesn't rain and catch you guys later. I'll take a Right guys, so it is now Friday and a bit of an unexpected turn. You might you guys might notice I'm filming with a different camera because I lost my vlogging camera charger, but fortunately it had enough battery to film this morning's breakfast. You guys, we went to this place called Pineapple, but it's spelled wrong. It's spelled like pineapple. Um, we went there for breakfast this morning and like it's one of the hottest places here in um, East Holbosch. Like literally we had to queue outside to get in and we got in and like the food was so good i got a um an iced coffee with soy milk and then i got a acai bowl guys they add like really nice decorative like fruit art on top of all their smoothie bowls and then the actual acai oh it was so nice it had like granola uh, coconut shreds and then just like literally a bunch of fruit on top and then I ordered some peanut butter on the side That was so nice. My mom loved her food as well. She got like uh, Toast with salmon avocado egg and it came with like some vegetables. The food was just really fucking good The service was great. The vibes are great I really want to go again, but that was kind of like this morning and then just spent pretty much most of the day in the Sun chilling you guys can tell I've got a bit of a tan going on so yeah that's the vibe we're gonna go watch the sunset um so i'll show you guys that then we're gonna go for dinner and i really don't know where this vlog is going it's super random hope you guys are enjoying it and i'll catch you guys in the next clip
Bienvenido, vamos de basura, bienvenido, tú lo estás pidiendo. De esta manera déjame lo, lo pido con LAM porque este es. Hello friends, it is now Saturday. We are sat in a beautiful restaurant. For some reason it is empty, it's just us, but whatever. I'd actually rather have the entire place to ourselves so you don't have to wait for our food this long. Um, I'm with my mom. Hi, mom. Hi. I really like your top. Huh? Cute top. Cute top. Isn't it cute? Very, very cute. My mom's kind of a fashion icon. We're watching the third place uh, World Cup match. It's Morocco versus Croatia and awaiting breakfast. I'm very excited and I'm going to be obviously showing you guys what we get and doing a full review of that entire thing. So I got my usual iced coffee and my mom has a fresh orange juice. Look how beautiful this jar is. I want to buy myself some jars like this for the house just because it's like so much nicer drinking everything out of a nice jar. So this is the current situation, the beautiful view of the game. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back from that cafe. I really like my smoothie bowl. It was actually just really, really the perfect portion. Like, it wasn't too much, it wasn't too little. Because yesterday at pineapple, even though I prefer the taste of it, well, it wasn't a side bowl, to be fair, it's a different dish altogether, but. I did prefer the overall taste and presentation and vibe at pineapple. The portion was just way too fucking big. I think I left about half of it yesterday was today I just licked my plate clean. Uh, really nice coffee as well. We watched the game. Gonna go chill on the beach. Uh, nothing exciting is happening here by the way. Like this vlog is literally just me saying, here's some food. I'm gonna go chill on the beach. Bye. Um... But that's, that's what it's like here in Mexico. I'm gonna do a full like roundup kind of recap at the end of this vlog so stay tuned probably film it when i'm at the airport waiting for my flight then i'm going to edit this actually on my way home so catch you guys later all right guys so it is now sunday it's our last full day here which is really really sad i do miss like my routine and stuff and like fast wi-fi but i love the vibes here as well the food has been great so far as well so we are back at pineapple my favorite place here so far i ordered the same acai bowl but i also ordered a like focaccia bread dish with like vegetables and like a bunch of savory things i've not eaten and it's almost like yeah, it's like 1 p.m. Um, we were watching the game at a different bar, Argentina versus France. It was a very heated game, very, very entertaining. Me and my mom were supporting different teams, so it got a bit emotional, but we're good. <laughs> and we're starving now, it's just waiting for our food. Um, so I'll show you guys what we get, and I'll do a bit of a review afterwards as well. All right, guys, so this is a focaccia sandwich with eggplant, vegetable, meatballs, tofu, a bunch of veg, some avocado in there and then a nice side salad with beetroot. I'm gonna be sharing this with my mom because it's huge and I have a massive acai bowl coming. If there's one thing about this place I've noticed, they don't skimp on the portions. All right, friends, it is now Monday. We are actually leaving Mexico today, I think. The last thing I filmed was when we were at Pineapple yesterday, so the savory dish we got was so good. Like, so good. Their portions are fucking huge. Like, it's a, they're very generous. Uh, we could not finish either of the dishes, but we tried our best. Very, very nice. We're actually going to go there again this morning one last time before going home. My mom has, like, a really long journey back because she's flying to France and then changing airports in france and then going to egypt whereas i'm just going to the uk um i've packed all my meals for today thankfully the restaurant we went to last night they did takeaway boxes so i asked them just for like some grilled veg to take away and i put them in some tupperware with my vegan chicken um so i've got those two meals kind of ready to go with me for today and i found this like little cute box of cookie crisp cereal and i think depending on where you buy these in the world they're they're vegan here because I read the ingredients and there's no uh, vitamin D. So because I'm vegan for ethical reasons, I do look at the minutia and vitamin D in cereals tends to come from an animal source. So I tend to just try and stay away from those cereals if possible, if they contain vitamin D. So 
These ones in Mexico do not contain vitamin D and all the other ingredients are vegan. So I've got a tiny little box of this that I'm going to have with like just protein powder uh, on the plane as like my last meal. So yeah, we're just packing up, getting ready to go. Overall, this was such an amazing trip. Um, I'm so happy we didn't go to like Tulum or Cancun because those tend to be a lot more touristy. Whereas here, like there's a lot of local tourism where it's like people that are Mexican come to this island just to like chill out. A lot of Argentines, a lot of just like people from Latin America in general come here on holiday. Um, and it's a very like chilled out, laid back island. You can feel it's not super touristy, um, which is nice. And I got to practice my Spanish quite a bit because uh, it's not that touristy. Their level of English here is not great, which obviously it's not their fault. And I really enjoyed being able to kind of speak Spanish a bit. So very, very fun trip. Food wise, obviously, um, I did kind of enjoy myself more than I normally would. Don't, I can't remember, mom, did I tell them why I switched coaches? So right now I'm kind of between coaches, so it's like less pressure, obviously, and I still do put pressure on myself to be good with food. Like, ever, after every meal here, I'm like, oh, did I overdo it? Like, I still kind of overthink, and I still, I'm not eating like a complete dick. Like, my weight's not increased by that much. I've been weighing myself pretty much every day and it's staying pretty stable, which is good. I think I'm holding on to a bit of water weight, which is normal when you go on holiday. Um, definitely about maybe a pound or two of water weight that will come back down once I'm back in the UK, eating my normal foods again, going to the bathroom regularly again, that kind of thing. So yeah, training wise, I trained as hard as I could while I could, uh, just because I like during Christmas, I am going to take just some time off of the gym, like a good three days in a row, no gym, which for me is unheard of, but we're going to do that uh, when we're in the UK. So yeah, that's pretty much the recap uh, about this trip. And obviously I got to hang out with my mom for a week, which is nice. Uh, and yeah, I'm going to end the vlog here, guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to give it a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel for more videos. I promise since I'm back in Dubai, these will be a lot more consistent because I'm going to have consistently good Wi-Fi when I'm back in Dubai, okay? So yeah, thanks guys so much and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!